I just got done watching the interview by Rachel Maddow of David Bahati, I guess is how you pronounce that, an anti-gay MP of Uganda who's trying to push through a rather anti-gay I don't know the exact terminology in English, but he wants to make it a law that homosexuality be punished. I suppose I should really quickly say thank you Freedom of Speech for making it possible for me to watch it. I don't get, you know, American news channels, not all of them anyway, here in Denmark. And props to the excellent Rachel Maddow, she kept it very cool, was very respectful, and was really good at just trying to hold him to the questions she was asking, and point out when he tried to put words in her mouth. And also influencing me is having watched a documentary, I don't know what it was called, unfortunately. It was on a Danish channel, and I didn't catch all of it, and the listings were not helpful in deciding, determining what the title was. That was the day before yesterday that I watched this, and it was from 2009, I think it was American, about homosexual Republicans in office, some former politicians, some current. And homosexual Republicans in and of itself is interesting because the Republicans are more or less explicitly against homosexuality, among other things. What made this more of a story, what made this more attention-grabbing, was the fact that these politicians were directly fighting their own kind. They were trying to pass bills that were against homosexuals. Some of these had lovers in the office. They hired homosexuals to work for them so that they could, you know, have sex during work hours. And just in general, they were in the closet and those working closely with them might have known, but yeah, they were trying to, you know, pass bills that would actually hurt other homosexuals. I suppose you could say of those that had lovers in the office of the same sex, you know, kind of had their ground covered. They didn't really have to worry themselves. And in general, these people are just... There, there's a term, I don't really want to get into any cursing in this video. In NCIS, they refer to it as Bravo Foxtrot. In other words, BF. Brother, expletive deleted. Perhaps you can figure out where I'm going with this. I have no problem with homosexuals. I haven't really been terribly vocal on this subject, although perhaps you could say it's implicit from what I say about the idea that something is completely evil or completely good. Any person is made up of many different sides. To, to all the 
anti-homosexuals, I would like to know, you know, post, comment, or video response, if you found out that someone you really cared about was a homosexual, and they made it clear that that was who they were. They were not going to be straight suddenly. Would you stop caring about them? Would you abandon them if, you know, would you distance yourself from them purely based on their sexuality? Anyway, I have not been terribly vocal on the subject yet. And in case you're wondering, I myself am straight, but I can identify with having a quality that many people don't like and being mistreated by many others without it being something you can control. It's not a side of yourself that you can just turn off. You can't even lie it away. Trust me, I've tried. I'm not going to detail what that side of me is in this video, perhaps in a later one. To return to the documentary, I guess whether or not these homosexuals in office had lovers, the fact that they were in the closet, I mean, that's one thing that I can sympathize with not wanting to reveal a side of yourself that you expect to be chastised for. But outright trying to legislate against what you are yourself, the, the self-hatred to drive this sort of I, maybe this is going to sound strange, but I do feel at least some sympathy for these people trying to pass these laws. I feel far more sympathy for all the people affected by these laws. The homosexuals who are beaten up, murdered, who commit suicide because their surroundings do not accept them for what they are. But there is a small part of me that does go out to the people who hate themselves, or at least part of themselves, a part of themselves that is impossible to remove. This is not a tumor. This is not one of their organs being infected with cancer and they can have that organ exchanged, you know, for that of an organ donor. This is part of who they are. And they hate that part so much that they're not, not just indifferent, but they are going out of their way to fight their own kind. I... that is just extreme. And I want all the people who are against homosexuals to stop and actually think about that. Think about that there are people out there who hate part of who they are so much... I mean, do, do you not realize that this is what you're doing? This is the net result. Perhaps not, it's not the entire result, but it is part of the result of the hate and the bigotry and... I just hope that you stop and think about that. 
I'm not trying to manipulate anyone. I... Everyone should come to their own conclusions. But just try to think about... If you really think that they deserve that. Real quickly, I suppose I should also say, perhaps you've already seen it, I recently mirrored the campaign video, I guess, for a campaign, I don't know exactly what it's called, I haven't researched this a lot, but it was called something like Fuck Hate, I guess. Okay, there goes the whole expletive. Anyway, okay, in case you were completely... Brotherfucker, that was the word that I wasn't saying before. Anyway, this campaign is trying to stop homosexual teenagers from trying to and often succeeding in killing themselves. And I hope I can spread some awareness about that. I, you know, they had me at hello. Absolutely, I, you know, buy the t-shirts, buy the little, I don't know, ring bit, I don't know what they're called. <laughs> buy the little badges, buttons, buy the stickers, you know, spread the word. I suppose that's it for this one. I... I will probably make more. Just... These are human beings. You know, just just stop and, and think about that fact. I mean, I, I can understand some hatred of certain groups. But... but these aren't trying to do anything to you. You know, the, the vast majority just want to be accepted. And, uh, yeah, that's it for this one, so...